Hello, everybody, and thank you for clicking through to our next subject in the PitView Education Series on PitView Basics, which is time frames and the desktop setup. I guess after all we go through when we learn how the bid and ask price works and we learn about global view and group view and pair view, uh, that it's helpful if we have a good under solid understanding of how to set up a basic uh, desktop setup for PitView. Again, I am your host, Steve Nury. And once again, just thank you for clicking through. And as we go through, we'll be adding more to our educational series on pit view basics. Uh, but from here, you may be ready to, to move on to learning some pit view trading methodology, which comes up in our next set of classes called our intermediate classes. So in the last video, we learned pair view and putting it all together, going through a little bit on what we call top down analysis, essentially starting off with global view, then group view, and then going into a trade with pair view. The common question that I get uh, when we look at common question from any traders is which time frame should I use? Uh, one of the great misconceptions about the market is whenever I go out and speak at any event, oftentimes what you get from, from students that come up to you is they say, which is the best time frame to use? Uh, in trading, market conditions always dictate what time frames you use for your own personal trading methodology so students oftentimes don't like the answer to that question because they say which is which is the best time frame to use well the best time frame to use is the time frame that suits you and your trading method uh, because multiple traders are, are successful uh, using multiple time frames However, when it comes to which time frame should I use, I want to go through some, since this is the pit view ba basics, I wanted to go through some basic rules for time frames. And these are just base rules for all trading uh, when it comes to time frame and time, and time analysis, if you will. If you've ever heard this comment, look up, not down when it comes to trading. What this means is whatever to the minimum time frame that you use for any trading tool, and uh, for pit view, for uh, global view, group view, pair view, uh, or for any other trading or technical indicator is the same as what we call your trigger charts. Now, what are your trigger charts? Those are the charts that you look at for your entry and exit. There are some people that consider them short-term traders that would, that would trade off of a five-minute chart. Well, that means that your minimum time frame that you would use for any indicator or tool, you would use it off a five-minute chart, a base understanding of time frames. If you use a trade from a one hour chart, then that's your minimum time frame that you would use for your analysis because you're making all of your decisions. That's what your trigger chart is. You're making all of your decisions off of that time frame. For example, on this, if you're tra if you are trading from, let's say, a one hour chart and you're looking to trade the trends and the prevailing trends uh, for a one hour time frame as each candle updates upon itself, you're probably not going to look at like a one minute stochastic because all that's going to do is screw up your trading. You're looking to trade more swing trading, medium term type of trading methods, and you're looking at a one minute chart, which is going to be very sporadic and spastic the way it goes up and down on like a stochastic. So that is a basic rule and a good, a good basic way to start off on pit view is start trading off of the chart time frame that you trigger your chart, uh, your trades off of. And if analyzing multiple time frames, the other part of look up, not down, is if, you're, if you are analyzing multiple time frames, you want to look at the bigger picture. So I'm going to show you an example here on the next slide. Uh, so in our examples, if you're a short-term trader and you're trading off a five-minute chart, well, generally speaking, if you're triggering your trades off five-minute time frame, if you want to confirm those trades, you want to look at the bigger picture, the bigger prevailing trend in the market. And I'll show you an example of that here in just a second. What you want to avoid whenever you start off uh, trading with any technical tool or indicator is you want to avoid what we call analysis paralysis. Analysis paralysis is when uh, when you start when something is new to you, what you start doing is is paralyzing yourself by analyzing too many things at one time. So hopefully, me going through this basic setup uh, on pit view uh, will give you some clarity on a good starting point. Uh, for you and your own personal trading. So here's a time frame example of how my pit view desktop might look. I trade off multiple time frames, me personally, uh, but let's just go off one of my favorite time frames for, for what I call swing trading, which would be a one hour chart. So if I'm swing trading from a one hour chart, what I'm going to pull up as far as my minimum time frame that I would trigger my trades off of is the minimum time frame that I would use for pit view. In this case, I have three global views on the left-hand side of my screen, and I'll show you how to set this up here in just a second. 
so my minimum time frame is going to be a one hour chart. I'm trading off of this time frame in the background, so I'm not going to I'm not going to use a five minute pit view indicator to trade when I'm triggering my trades and entering and exiting off a one hour chart. So that's going to be my minimum time frame right down in here. Now, if I want to confirm my entries and exits by looking at longer time frames, uh, I want to look at longer time frames. I want to look up. So I might use a four hour and a two hour global view in this case as a starting point uh, for confirming my trades, confirming that I'm being, uh, that when I get into a trade, that I am trading along with the prevailing trend in the market. And the beautiful thing about pit view is you can trade off the prevailing trend in the market, but you can also trade off what the, what the market maker sentiment is because that's what pit view is. It's telling you what the buy and sell imbalances are for all the large liquidity providers in the market. So that's basic time frames is just making sure that when you are trading on pit view that you're using a minimum time frame based on your own personal trading uh, trigger charts. And if you need any help as far as learning different trading methods, uh, we can certainly help you out with that here at pit view. So let's take a look at going in live as far as pit view set up and we're going to go live onto the desktop and we're going to set up our time frames and we're going to set up a basic template for our charts. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for one moment uh, and the next time you see me I'll be showing my live desktop and we'll be going through this together. All right. So I'm I'm back and now you should be seeing my MetaTrader platform uh, being shown right here on your screen. Uh, this is a very common uh, platform as far as trading platform for traders to use in the foreign exchange markets. When we're looking at our MetaTrader platform, what I'm going to show you is how to set up PitView on one single screen. Uh, I know there's many traders out there in, 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 in cyber space that use multiple screens, which might make it a little bit easier for you to set up your PitView desktop. But in this case, uh, we're just going to go and look at multiple time frames uh, by, or looking at, uh, just look, using one individual screen for setting up the pit view. So I have my MetaTrader up on here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up the blank pit view desktop that put, that comes up uh, when you when you first log into pit view. Now there's a lot of bells and whistles on here, and this is one of the distracting things about whenever you're trading with something new. So I'm just going to go through a basic setup. Uh, if you're brand new. Uh, you want to start off with a very basic setup and then as you get used to something, as you start to uh, gain a little bit more confidence in, in using pit view, you can kind of expand your horizons. So what I'm going to focus in on here is just pulling up the pit view indicators themselves. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to left click on indicators. And if we're doing top down analysis, the first thing I'm going to focus in on is uh, the global view, if you will. So I'm going to click on FX global view. And then what I'll do is put that up on my screen and let me just bring it centered in here and we'll talk through this a little bit. So the next question that people are going to have when they first pull up the pit view platform is right now I got global view on my platform and as you can see when I click back into uh, my MetaTrader this is a footing screen so it'll stay on top on my screen. Uh, you can change that screen if you don't want it to constantly be on the top most part of your screen. You can uncheck this window that says show this window as top most and it will go back to behind your desktop. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it on because I want to show you how we can customize this. Now on my MetaTrader back in here you can see I'm trading on, you know, these are like swing trading charts on here. These are all one hour time frames. So you can see when you first pull up Global View, it'll show you multiple time frames. And the question's going to become, well, Steve, you know, how, what should I look at here? Well, let's just go in and, and, and change this to a one hour view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here on the Global View screen and I'm going to go to Show and Hide Columns. And I'm going to uncheck the 30 minutes on here. And what I'm also going to do is another question that's common and we, we go over this a little bit more in more detail in the intermediate class is people always ask, well which one should I look at Steve? Should I look at the leaders, the followers, or the totals? Starting off, and this is the way I do it also, is I'm going to go here to session totals. I'm going to check that box and I'm going to uncheck the session leaders. Now this is a very good little view of the global view because of the fact that now it's showing me the one hour total 
So it's taking both the leaders, the followers into account and just giving you an overall view of what's occurring uh, on the one hour charts total when it comes to the buy and sell imbalances. A great way for you brand new pit views traders to start off. So you see we're not looking at multiple time frames on here. I'm trading off of a one hour chart. So I have a one hour pit view set up on here. So I might put that let me just go in here and move this. I might move that up in the top or into the bottom of my screen just to be right next to my MetaTrader account here. I'll just put it right over there. And now when I have my MetaTrader up, I can kind of quickly look at global view to see which currencies are strongest to weakest uh, over the past hour in the market. And that would be my trigger time frame. Now when pulling up other, other pit view indicators, Everything's just a double click it away. For example, if I see that Aussie is the strongest currency over the last hour, if I wanted to see a group view on that and see which pairs the Aussie is trading strongest and weakest against, I can just double click on the Aussie dollar and it will pull up a group view onto here. Same thing on here. You can see it's showing one hour and the 30 minute and it's showing the leaders. What I can do is I can right click and I can go to show and hide columns and I'll just uncheck the 30 minute I'll uncheck the leaders and put on the session totals and then uncheck from there and there I have uh, I have the global view set up and now it's showing me the one hour totals and the total percentages uh, is showing you the activity from the individual market makers on each individual pair uh, a lot of our pit view traders, if you just want to see the one column that shows the strength and weakness, uh, all you have to do is just uncheck the total percentage. And now we just now we're just seeing on here, we're just seeing the one hour totals on the global view and the one hour totals on the group view. And if you ever need a, if you ever want to rank them from strongest to weakest or weakest to strongest, you can just click on the tab above and it will automatically sort them. Now from here, Let's say I want to take a look at, closer look at the, at the pair view uh, by looking closer at, let's say, the Aussie New Zealand pair. From here, pair view is just a double click away. I double click on the Aussie New Zealand pair, and that's going to pull up my pair view screen, showing me the individual activity for all the market makers. Now, again, a lot of times when you're looking at this, this might look a little busy to you. And, it, and a lot of trading, especially when you first start off, it requires a, a lot of focus. So in this case, if I just want to set up, set up a very basic view on the, on the pair view window, what I can do is I can right click and I can say, okay, let's uncheck the ticks and let's uncheck the session leaders and the 30 minute leaders and just pull up the session totals. And then we'll go back here and now we just have a nice little uh, pair view screen showing us the individual activity with the market makers showing us what's exactly happening is, is it happening with the buy and sell and balance on the pair view now as we customize our desktop what we can do is when we look at this I can put my global view here at the top I can go in and put my group view right underneath that on the left hand side of my screen and then what I can do is I can also put a view up here on the right hand side of my screen. And once I have this set up the way I want it to look on my MetaTrader account, here I'll just tell my windows again. Now I have just a very basic view, just using one time frame off my trigger, trigger chart showing the one hour totals on each. And as the market moves and as I get in uh, to more trades or want to look for more trading opportunities, on the one hour time frames, I can just take my top down approach and look at individual currencies just by doing a quick double click. Like here, if I want to take a closer look at the US dollar, I just double click on the US dollar and that will should, that will change my group view. If I want to take a closer look at the dollar Swiss, I'll double click on dollar Swiss and that'll change my pair view down here at the bottom. And you can kind of expand that down. So now I got this, this desktop set up in a very easy way to where I just have it all in the left hand corner of my screen and I'm able to reference it while I'm trading off of my MetaTrader screen. For multiple time frames, uh, which we'll get into here in a little bit, uh, as you saw in my charts on the PowerPoint, 
if we're doing multiple time frame analysis and we want to pull up different uh, different views of the global view and the group view and the pair view to analyze multiple time frames, we can do that also and again customize the desktop. However, once we get this set up the way we like it on our screen, what we're going to do is we can go up here to layouts and go to save as and I can say okay this is just Steve's basic layout. Click on OK, and then every time I pull up uh, Pit View, I can just go up here to the Layouts, and here I have Steve's basic layout, and you can see I have multiple layouts set up on here. So just a quick introduction and uh, on just a basic way to set up your Pit View screen. You can see that I set it up in a way that's not very really busy. It keeps you focused on the one-hour charts, which are your trigger charts. The next step from here is if we're doing multiple time frame analysis, uh, and that's if we want to set, set up multiple uh, instances of pit view on our screen, which we'll be getting into uh, here at the beginning of our intermediate class as far as taking what we call a top-down approach to trading by looking at multiple time frames for confirmation. Uh, but this was just a basic setup on how to set up your basic trigger charts uh, with pit view. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to go back to our PowerPoint and close out our basic lesson for today. So I'm going to go pause that. And we're back uh, to our PowerPoint. Uh, moving on here, coming up next. Remember, the Pit View desktop is very easy. You just got to be able to right click. Uh, we're going to have a lot more information on, on Pit View desktop set up uh, in the other parts of our university here uh, to show you multiple ways to set up a basic layout. Uh, but just as you're from advice from your instructor, uh, just remember, when you first start off with trading with something, you want to start off with as simple a view as you possibly can have, uh, just so you can get a basic understanding of how it works and how it works along with your trading method. Now, as far as trading methods, uh, it always helps to have an actual trading strategy before you start trading with any investment tool or, tra or technical tool, if you will. Uh, coming up next, we'll be going through more into trading methods with PitView through our intermediate class, uh, which can be your next click. And always remember, if you do have any questions, you can email me at steve.nuri at pitview.com. And I hope you enjoyed our presentation today, and hopefully I'll see you on the next click. Bye-bye, everybody.